Hey guys, welcome. Let me show you how to render high quality video or photo in Unreal Engine 5. So first of all, let me come here to marketplace. I want to download a project and from that we can render a high quality photo. I'm going to come here and search for infiltrator demo. And there we have an infiltrator demo. It's free. I mean, it is permanently free in Unreal Marketplace, so you can find it and download it. So let me click on this. And there we have. Look, it is very high quality. It has this beautiful city and some characters. You might need it for creating any project or something, for movie or for game something. But I will not use it a lot. Only we will render a high quality photo from this. So first you will see download here, you have to download it, it's around 7 GB I think, you have to have, yeah, there, there we have, it is around 4 GB, and lots of things are there, so you have to download that first, and there we have it, this is how, this is the map you have to open, now with this name, like if you come here, there's lots of maps right there, let me come to, it's maps right there, there's lots of maps, you have to open this specific one, and there we go so this is our project and from here i want to render a high quality photo uh, let me come to uh, actors and here we have cinematics i'll add sign camera actor and there we have sign camera I'll right click and sign camera actor and let me parallel the camera there we go this is our camera now we can manage our camera very easily so I lost my way, let me find it back. So there we have, let's find a nice and beautiful shot. Oh, I'll come here, I think this is a nice place to take a photo from. And then I'll come to sequencer, I'll add a level sequencer right there. Uh, so let me save this sequencer, I'll give a name like new sequencer. And there we go. So this is our sequencer, I will come here to track and to uh, after to sequencer, I will search for sign camera. So as you can see there we have sign camera actor 1 and 2, I think our is oh, 2. I think previously I add one more actor, so maybe in your community it will be actor 1, so I'll add this one. And there we go, so I will just pick up the camera uh, that I will I have to show from camera cuts right there and there we there we go I'll select our camera actor 2 uh, you can see uh, it right there and then I'll come to its settings a little bit uh, I think this if film back it is correct so there we have in current focal length I will change it like uh, let me find the right angle uh, let me make it 90, I think 90 will be something good. Uh, let me select our camera so that I can manage it from here. We will move it a little bit. Let me find a nice angle. This will be nice. Maybe. Let me select this one, I think it will be good. And there we have to go. I'll set everything. I'll come to uh, plugins and there we can search for render. So let's find movie render queue. Uh, you have to select this one. If it's not checked, then you will not have these settings from render. I'll show you right now. So, first of all, you have to check it and then you have to restart your project right now. And after restarting your project, you will come to camera cats and there we have rendered this movie to a video or image frame sequence or something so i'll click on this one and there we have this is movie render queue if you don't activate that plugin then you will not have this so it's required and then i will have i will come here to unset config there i will remove gpg actually i don't like this format then i will come here and select dot axr this is a great one then i'll come to settings i'll select higher resolution for this 
for now then I'll come to output uh, let's uh, make it 8k so I will multiply it by 4 I think for 8k we have to multiply by 4 maybe uh, there we go I think that's that is the right key so there we have everything is ready then I will come to use custom playback range so if you want to render a movie then you can come and select frames from here or select all the movie maybe it's one six to one minute or something like that remember uh, here we have uh, frame rate uh, and 24 frames per second is already selected if you can change for movies it's required but for MAs I don't think we have to set up these things and as you know we want to render image in this video so I will not check out its settings from there then I'll come here use custom playback range and here let me select I'll only render two frames maybe from four and fifth this two one or six now fifth and sixth one I want to render and there we go everything is ready finally I'll come here and select some place for that I'll come to desktop let me create a new folder new folder 3 and select the folder uh, so anything else nope I think it's ready you can select a name for from here remember don't change this frame number just change the sequence name right here if you want if you don't want you can leave it and remember you have to have the curly brackets right there and there we go I will accept and then I'll come here and select and render local so there we go it's completed let me close it and there I'll have there we have so let me click on this as uh, this is a XR so we need to open it in Photoshop or any photo editor or software you use let me double click on this and we have to wait in my computer it will open in photoshop wow this is crazy man isn't it let us check it if i zoom in wow look at this quality you can zoom it in and then you will see the high resolution right there so if i come here to you know, let me come to image and there we have image size and there I will have select pixels for that there you can see it is 8k its quality is 8k and there we go as you can see I cannot directly change AXR format so that's why I will come and export it as PNG I will save it in the same folder and then I will close this when I will open that there we have it I will just drag and drop it into Photoshop and there we have it is same quality no difference is there but uh, this time it is PNG and we can easily edit it in Photoshop if I come to image size pixels still it is 8k so I will come to filters and change it a bit Wow, look at this. This is crazy, man. You won't believe it. So now you can see I can zoom in and still it is very high quality and with very good color settings. And there we go. If I come here and let me come to Android engine back. So let me press F11 so I will come and zoom it up <laughs> now look at this this is what we rendered and this is what it is actually in Unreal indeed so that is the power of we call render so some uh, times you might need to take a screenshot from your a world something like that uh, you can come here and take a high resolution screenshot right there 
but remember that is a screenshot that's not a render so if you want to have a high quality photo like this one you have to render it so there we go that's it for this one i'll see you next time bye